Welcome to Tabletop Tactics and our first 10th edition battle report with the all new Leviathan rule set. Heading up the Imperium of Man, we have Rabute Gilliman and the Ultramarines. That's right, the Adeptus Astartes are here descending on drop pods to take on the despoiler of mankind, Abaddon and his Black Legion. As these bitter rivals clash on the battlefields, let's take this opportunity to go over the list. Courage and honor battle brothers, it is the Ultramarines headed up by the Primarch himself. That's right, Gilliman is here. Let's see what this Primarch can do in 10th edition with the Emperor's Sword. So I had to bring him because we're facing the, the spoiler, right? It made sense. Abaddon must go down. He must be cut in half by the Emperor's Blade. So of course Gilliman is the Warlord and with him today I've brought three other characters to try and show you guys a variety of different things and buffs that uh, can be applied in 10th edition. So his second in command is a Captain in Terminator armor. I've paid for an enhancement on him, which is called the Honor Vehement, which basically makes him better in combat with a plus one strength and attack base. Uh, Captain in Terminator armor is actually pretty good anyway, so this is only buffing him further. We then have a Lieutenant or Lieutenant, depending on which side of the pond you live, and he also has an enhancement called Bolter Discipline and gives sustained hits one to a unit he leads. It has another ability as well, uh, critical hits going off on a five plus while in Devastator Doctrine. That won't really come up this game, but here's the thing. The sustained hits one will, which is exploding hits on sixes. And when I show you the unit he's leading, it becomes really spicy. Also going along with him, we have an Apothecary. This guy's really good. Primaris Apothecary can bring back a slain model um, every turn, which is obviously very powerful and if you put him in the right unit can be really really powerful throughout the course of a game. So speaking of units let's go on to them. I'm going to start off with some old-fashioned troops or battle line intent as, as it's referred to now. We have two units of five Primaris Intercessors. I'm not blown away by these guys honestly. I'm not sure how many normal troops you'll see in 10th edition depending on the army, of course, but they do have some good objective control abilities, uh, including making objectives sticky so that they can sort of move off and do other things. So let's see how they do. They're relatively cheap too. I've got two units of five for your viewing pleasure. We then go on to some more meaty stuff. I have two units of three blade guards. Now they are unaccompanied. I don't have any leaders with them today. You have to nominate your leaders who they're joining before the game begins. But I wanted to show you these guys because for the first time, you can do something very exciting. You can put them in drop pods. That's right, drop pods. So I've got two drop pods. Now, in future games, I'm sure we can combine the unit, make it a six-person unit, and have some leaders in there and make it really spicy. But today, let's, let's just do a shock and awe tactic. These two little combat units can be deep struck into enemy territory from turn one, no less, and uh, hopefully do some business and be some pressure for Mr. Beard. We then have something really nasty. This is kind of what the heart of the army is and a nice little combo right out of the gate. I've got a unit of 10 Hellblasters, so maximum size, and I'm joining the Lieutenant and the Apothecary to that unit. The Apothecary, it states on the data card, is allowed to join a unit led by a Lieutenant and or a Captain, or, or rather, or a Captain. You can't have three characters in the unit, just the two. But when you combine, the Bolter Discipline on the Hellblasters, which already have multiple shots, which can overcharge and potentially kill themselves, but an Apothecary to bring them back, right? It becomes a really nasty unit. I think Hellblasters are gonna be quite frightening. Um, let's see how it does in this game. I could be proven wrong, but uh, <laughs> I think they're gonna be uh, a hot take in this game. We then have, finally, some support armor. We've got two Lumbering Behemoths. We have a Leviathan, um, a box set dreadnought called the Ballista Dreadnought, which is basically a gun platform redemptor. It's got a twin Ballista Laz Cannon and Ballista Missile Launcher. It's actually got some good firepower at a decent range. It's not as good as its redemptor brother, in my opinion, but the redemptor is more expensive and brings a bunch of extra special rules, which I will show you throughout the game, including a damage reduction, which is pretty nasty. So, of course, I've had to bring the redemptor as well with the macro plasma and the power fists. 
That brings the list to 2,000 points on the nose. So I've got a couple of support dreadnoughts in there. I've got some combat units with the blade guard and deep striking in via drop pod. But will it be shocking and awesome enough for the Black Legion or will I crumble before them? Let's see what Beard's got in his list. Here we go, it is the first outing for the Chaos Space Breeze and I am delighted to be giving them a spin for you today. The force is of course being led by none other than Abaddon the Despoiler. Oh yes, he is still luckily a beast as he was in 9th edition, very different but a beast nonetheless. He is joining his unit of Despoilers, aka a unit of 10 Chaos Terminators. Uh, two of them have been equipped with Chain Fist, the rest of them have accursed weapons and we also have a mark of corn on this unit now bear in mind that abaddon will give them all of the marks because he's joining the unit and he has favor with all of the chaos gods so they have lots of options in the game we then have a unit of chaos space marines oh yes a unit of 10 they all have close combat weapons they are mark of sanesh and they're also joined by a master of possession i've given him the intoxicating elixir Enhancement, because he's also Mark of Slanesh, which means that he gets a five up feel no pain, which will keep him alive a bit longer than he ordinarily would do. They're all gonna be rocking around in a Rhino, which is also Mark of Slanesh, because you must take the same mark for all of the units when they are combined together. We'll then move on to a unit of Chaos Cultists. 10 Cultists, mega Cultists, but they're taken none nonetheless. They are Mark of Zinch and they are joined by a Dark Commune, uh, which is also Mark of Zinch. Um, I haven't given them any extra enhancements, but they should give me some nice psychic abilities to do in the game. We then move on to a couple of Hell Brutes as we get into the bigger boys in the list. Uh, these Hell Brutes are both Chaos Undivided. They both have Power Scourges and they both have Laz Cannons. I do like the Hell Brutes quite a lot. They, they add a lot to the Dark Pack mechanic and you'll see what they can do when we get into the game. I then got a unit of obliterators, unit of two, these are also chaos undivided. I like the undivided because it gives me the ability to re-roll hit rolls of one which is nice when I've done my dark packs um, so that makes them a little bit more accurate because they'll be going it alone on the battlefield. I've got a Forge Fiend up next. This is also Mark of Chaos Undivided. I've given this one the Ectoplasma Cannon, so I've got some nice ranged anti-armor, which should do me some favors because I don't have much else of it in the list. And finally, to cap things off, I have two units of Raptors. Both of these are Mark of Corn. They will be going it alone and maybe deep striking in later in the game to give me some extra airborne support. That, my friends, is the list. That's enough of that business. Let's get into the mission and begin our game. Today's mission is Take and Hold. Players score five victory points for each objective marker they control at the end of their command phase. The player going second instead scores at the end of their turn in battle round five. This mission can score a maximum of 15 victory points per turn and cannot be scored in the first battle round. Each player also determines if they are playing fixed or tactical for their secondary missions. Well, 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 Mr. Bean, it's time for some hype, am I right? It's finally time. <laughs> finally. We appreciate your patience. We've been wanting to get on with this for some time. We have. 2,000 yeah. points, baby. Right, 2K. That's right, a full game with the points. Yeah. So you know what's going on, yep. and we're about to throw down. Classic, a bad Abaddon, sorry, Abaddon versus Gilliman. That's right, it is cool. classic. And on top of that, we can show off a couple of the new secondary special rules because we drew Maelstrom of Battle. We did. <laughs> we, we literally drew Maelstrom of Battle. So we got two mission special rules in this one, Multiple. minefields and uh, targets of opportunity. Uh, so this will be a really, really cool demonstration, I think, of a good 10th edition game with 2,000 points. Yes, yes. Before we get started, however, this is a special day because not only have we got this free view game for you after all the months of waiting for 10th edition, if you are an On Demand member, you get another battle report available right now on demand, which you can access through our website and our app with an on demand or backstage membership. On top of that, you have access to 26 faction focused videos because we did all of them. We did. Somehow. We did, yeah. <laughs> We've got a breakdown of every single faction which you can get as well as a bonus as an on demand member. And on top of that, there's more to come. Yeah. This week. There's a lot more to come. Way more 10th edition content. It's a very exciting time. 
Very exciting time indeed. It is. But for now, we must begin our game. Who will seize the initiative this day? Is it the true sons of the Emperor? Gilliman, Ooh. his boys in blue. Or is it those Black Legion, the spoilers? Oh. Do you want me to roll first? Please, Ooh. go ahead. Fitting, fitting. New addition, same dice rolling. You meet me. Is this the edition where you turn it round? Come on. Chaos, be with me. Shall I go now? Go. <gasps> okay. Chaos is dwindling. I only roll a six. <laughs> does that mean you get to go first? It my does. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, the game is about to begin. You've drawn some cards, but first. Mm. It's a teleport homer. It is. Da -da! Maybe something will home onto it soon. Nice. We should mention that this is just representative of the ground floor. So the objective and the home beacon are on the bottom there. Just they are. To film. Thought you guys might want to see it. So mm. uh, they're up uh, up top for the moment. We're also counting this as a ruin in 10th edition. Nice. Uh, which means it does have the obscuring. Indubitably. So, uh, a, a couple of things to note. Uh, my Legionnaires and my Martial Possession are in that rhino there, yep. nestled safely away. And my Tunis of Raptors and my Obliterators are in Deep Strike. Yeah, uh, my Terminators of Terminator Captains in Deep Strike and of course my Drop Pods holding Blade Guard are also in Deep Strike. Marvellous. Marvellous. In terms of the command phase, I've drawn my cards. I have Capture Enemy Outpost, Behind Enemy Lines and Bring It Down. Useful for subsequent turns. Uh, hence the eight points for Capture Enemy Outpost. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Uh, but Bring It Down may certainly be doable, and maybe I'll keep one of those for my turn two, perhaps. Uh, the only other thing to do is with uh, Abaddon, he's going to do his War Master ability. Uh, the, out of the three options, I'm going to choose Lord of the Traitor Legions, which will allow me to remount my Leadership and Battleshock tests, which can come in handy for my Dark Pacts, which I'll be doing in the shooting phase. Let's begin the movement phase. So my Terminators and Abaddon are going to move forwards. I just want a few options in terms of line of sight. I also want to slowly start making my way towards that centre objective. Next up, my Dark Commune and the Cultist Mob are going to move forwards. Uh, now because these Cultists have the For the Dark Gods ability, once I have secured this objective with them, I will hold it, much like an Intercessor. So it becomes sticky, I can move off, and it will stay under my control. My Hellbrute is going to move over this way to get line of sight. I want to stay within six of the Forged Fiend and the Terminators for his Dark Ascension aura, which we'll cover in the shooting phase. And the last couple of bits to move, my Rhino is going to move off and around here to take this centre objective. And the Hellbrute just behind is going to move up to gain line of sight. And thus concludes my movement phase. Shooting phase! This it indeed. Here we go. I'm going to start off with my Hellbrute down here. And yep. he's going to fire his twin LAS cannon into your Redemptor over there. Yes. Now, at the, every time I pick a unit to shoot or fight, I can enact a Dark Pact. I'm going okay. to do this now on camera as a demonstration, but after this one, I'll roll for it off camera because I have to do it every time I shoot or fight. I'm, I'm oh, fun. excuse me. I'm You're throw a command point, but uh, I'm going to use a stratagem as well, which I'll tell you what that does after you tell me your dark pack. Why don't you go ahead and explain All right, stratagem? I'm going to use, I'm trying to sh I'll try and show you guys a variety. The Armour of Contempt. So a classic returns in 10th. It's one CP, that is spent. Goodbye. Uh, it reduces your AP. And I just do it on an Adeptus Astartes unit, which my Redemptor is. Reduces your the AP of your gun by one. Mm. So you'll go from a minus three to a minus two, and I'll get a plus one to my save because of going through cover. Indeed. That's it. So you reduce my AP significantly. That's but that's fine. So with my dark pacts, I need to roll and do a leadership check. Which I pass. Yes, you do. With flying flying colours. Colours, yeah. So my dark pact goes off. Now the, the ability of the dark pact always goes off regardless of whether I roll over my leadership or not. If I fail my leadership, I take D3 mortal wounds. Ouch. Because the chaos gods are spiteful yeah. and fickle. Yeah. But what that means is I can then either choose sustained hits or I can choose lethal hits Nice. Uh, for my gun. But because I'm a hell brute, they have yeah. a six inch aura, which gives me both. So I get sustained and I get lethal hits. Oh, that's nice. Hang on. So you get nice exploding that. hits and lethal hits. Yes! So six to hit is auto wound, and then you'll get a plus one to hit on top of that. Yes! 
Now, uh, twin LAS cannons now are twin links, so you only get one shot, but I can yeah. reroll my wounds. Yeah. And because I am uh, Mark, uh, Chaos Undivided is my mark, when I pass my Dark Pact, I can reroll hit rolls of one. Oh, nice. Because okay. I'm undivided. Okay. I do you hit, hit you. anyway. I hit you. I'll be wounding you on three. Okay. Your strength, sir? Your strength? My strength is nine. No, it's not. My strength is 12. Yeah, I'm toughness 10. Yeah. So there's a wound. That's what I'm asking. 10. Minus one. Only minus one. Okay. Effectively. Yes. Okay. Okay. I make a save. Very good thing that the you used your stratagem there. Very good indeed. Cool. Well, that's that unit done. Let me figure out what I'm going to shoot next. My arm is in contempt of you. Sustained. <laughs> Right, a very quick one from my Terminators here. Only one of my Terminators with their combi bolter can see and I can get a bead on your Dreadnought. This isn't so much to damage a Dreadnought, but when I do my Dark Pact for uh, Abaddon's unit on a 2+, plus, if I pass my leadership check, which I do on my Dark Destiny, uh, Dark Pact, with Dark Destiny on a 2+, plus, I gain a command point. That's really nice. Yes. Oh, so I've got two rules in 10th edition. One of them is I need to pronounce it Abaddon. Oh, and the other one is we need to shake hands before the game starts. Good luck, Good Mr. Luck. Beard. <laughs> Failed already, excellent. Um, so, do I get my command point? Yes. Do. Hooray for me. Do. Hooray nice. for Abaddon. Hooray for Chaos. Um, so let's see. Oh, and um, because of my Dark Pack going off and my Hellbrute, I get sustained and lethal. Hit. Okay. And uh, incidentally, the Terminator mm. Combi Bolters have devastating, devastating wounds. Anyway, that's what Combi Bolters nice. do now, which is nice, yeah. I don't wound you because no. uh, infantry now normally can't really do much against armor. No, but although combi weapons do have anti-infantry four up, don't they? They do. So they'd always wound infantry on a, uh, no worse than a four up. Yeah. But obviously I was a bit bigger than a normal infantry. Hellbrute number two. Okay. Another twin last cannon into your Redemptor. All right. Done my dark packs. Success. I hit you. I failed to wound you. You re-roll wounds because you're twin linked. That is very true. Laser cannon. Twin linked laser a cannon. Twin linked. <laughs> okay, um, you're effectively minus two. I get a cover save. I rolled a five anyway. Very oh, nice. Save. Oh, the Redemptor is, uh, yeah, in contempt of you. Final bit of shooting to do with my Forge Fiend, the Fiend of the Forge. Okay. Yes! First time running him in 10th. Let's see what he does. I'm looking forward to it. Done my dark packed off camera. Yeah. I'll get both options because of my Hellbrute. Yeah. Uh, I am going to use Demonic Ordnance, which is his ability, which means that my Atrial Plasma Cannons uh, get devastating wounds and also hazardous. Um, I've got five shots of my three D3s. Yep. Because uh, he is undivided, I can reroll ones. Not that it matters. But Lots I hit, of hits. Hit Lots of hits. Time. Sadly, no exploding hits. No, it's forced to wound you. Back. Strength 10, toughness 10. Hop! Uh, it's two wounds. Okay, you got two, no re-rolls there, that's two, fine. Two, two, two wounds. Okay, two wounds. Yes, effectively a, 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 a four-up save, because I'm AP yeah. three. We've that got down cover and armor of contempt. Uh, I make one and I fail one. Okay, it's damage, uh, is... damage three. Okay, well the Redemptor gets a minus one to the damage. That's his one of his abilities. So, um... I don't mortal wound myself from the hazardous. That's in in my turn one. Okay. Very okay. good. So, um, I'm on a few objectives. This one's become sticky because of my cultist, so I yep. can move off that and continue to hold it. Um, I didn't get any of my secondary cards, and I am going to discard Capture Enemy Outpost. Okay. It's worth eight victory points. Good one to draw later if you can. Yeah. Um, but in uh, discarding one, I gain a command point. Yeah, you sure. can just discard, discard more than one if you wish. You can only get one CP from discarding one. Uh, but I've still got behind enemy line, still got to bring it down. Might be able to get it in my next turn with my deep striking units and hopefully I can get some more shots in. But for now, it's time to march from a crack. All right. We're in my command phase and I've drawn my card. So uh, drawing three as per the Maelstrom of Battle secondary mission. Uh, and I should have said as well at the beginning that we are playing tactical rather than fixed. So we don't have any fixed cards. We're just drawing them every turn. Yes. So what I have is extend battle lines, area denial and investigate signals. Uh, weirdly, I'm set up to, to actually do that I have to put things, some things out in the open, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to choose now some of my uh, special rules as being a space arena player. I'm going to choose the Devastator Doctrine, which means that I can assault, uh, uh, advance with any of my units, and still fire. Very nice. Okay, so including heavy weapons, whatever, I can just, just run and fire. That's what I can do. I'm also going to use my Oath of Moment ability, which I'm going to tell you guys right now, I think is absolutely bonkers strong. But <laughs> nonetheless, I've got to use it. So uh, I'm going to put it on the Hellbrute 
which has been getting a little frisky with those laser cannons. Okay. And he's also given that nice little... Uh, he is. Don't like that. Buff. No, 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 thank you. Now, I'm also, because I have the Supreme Commander, Gilliman, uh, I'm going to use his ability, Primarch of the 13th Aura, uh, sorry, forgive me, I'm going to use the Master of Battle part because he's got three Author of Codex rules. I'm going to use the Master of Battle, which allows me to pick a second unit for Oath of Moment if I destroy the first. Right. Okay? That second unit will be your Terminators, sir. <laughs> if I destroy that Hellbrute first. Good luck. That's how I'm going to play this. I'm very excited about it. Let's get down to some movement. Well, these intercessors thought they were going to go for the objective, but instead they're going to move wholly within nine inches of this corner so that they can do their investigating of the signal for two victory points. Now that I've held this objective in my command phase, I'm just going to uh, spread these marines out a little bit. I'm scared of deep striking chaos. Well, 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 the Hellblasters have advanced. Good news, everybody. I did roll a six in traditional Lawrence fashion. However, uh, rolling a six in this mission is not a good thing because I've triggered a landmine, so one of my Hellblasters has taken a mortal wound. The Redemptor will just shuffle forward just ever so slightly, and the Ballistas will just shuffle back ever so slightly. The Lord Gilliman. Yes. The Angels of Death. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> yes! Brothers, for the Emperor. Right, uh, these now have to immediately disembark three inches. They will get out into said ruin. Uh, I'll accurately move everything in a second, but you get the idea. Maybe they'll even get a charge off, who knows? I love drop pods. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, it's time for our Oath of Moments. <laughs> uh, the Redemptor Dreadnought levels his macro plasma at the Hell Brute. Nice. Okay. Um, he's got a macro plasma, he's got an onslaught Gatling cannon, he's got Icarus rocket pod, he's got twin uh, storm bolters. Um, would you like to do anything before I begin my dice rolling? I'm going to spend a command point in Infernal Rites. Now, on the card, we believe this is a typo because it says two command points, which is effectively the chaos equivalent of Oath of Moment. Of uh, Armour of Armor Contempt. Armour of Contempt, sorry. Um, so we're going to play it as one CP because I think oh. that's the intention there. Um, so I will do that on the Hellbrute so it can help. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense. Why would it be two for chaos? I mean, <laughs> cute girls players say, because we always get the worst thing. We're going to play it as one for the moment. We'll, we'll wait for it to be uh, FAQ. Be FAQ. Be. Uh, okay, right, I've got to roll for my macro plasma first. I am overcharging. Hazardous, by the way, is a flat three mortal wounds on the vehicle, if, yes. if it goes off. Right, D6 shots, three shots, it's, it's, it, it is what it is. Okay, I would have liked a six. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Today. laughs> I would have. Right, threes to hit you, sir. Yes. I can re-roll the misses due to Oath the Oath of Moments. Very good. Now, there's a couple of things that's already happened here. Mm. Um, I've got a six there, which does nothing actually. Great. However, I've got to wound you. What is your toughness on the Hellbrute? Uh, toughness is nine. Okay, I am strength nine. You team yes. nine? Yes. Yeah. I'm strength nine. So it is forced to wound. I'll re-roll because of the Oath of Moment. I do get the full hoose. Now, as it turns out, I'm minus four AP, but I'm down to minus three because of your infernal rights. Okay, that's nice. Um, so that means I'm going to have a five up save. How many wounds was it, sorry? Uh, you are a part, you're in cover as well, partially obscured. Yes. But it'd still be a five up anyway, yeah. Um, sorry, how many wounds? Four. Four wounds. Four wounds. Hup. Well, that could have gone better. Okay. Um, because I have overcharged, it is the big damage of the three. Okay, so that's he's dead. Three, six, nine, twelve damage. <laughs> You, you, you one-shotted him. Does he explode with Deadly, Deadly Demise? Demi he does! He does! Oh, oh my goodness, it's the first one! Um, it's a six-inch range, so that's a mortal wound on the Terminator and a mortal wound on my Forge Fiend. Mortal wounds for everybody! Ow! Um, well, I'm going to roll for my Hazardous on the Redemptor, but incidentally, you, you actually had a four-up save. You did only make one, because you've got two-up save based on the Hellbrew now, which is nice. Mm. Right, does the Hazardous affect... Oh, nearly! 
Nearly lost right. three mortal wounds on a redemptor. Right. Uh, okay, we're going to move on to the Ballistus now, who has uh, no help root target. He's going to fire at your Forge Fiend, which is well and truly tucked away nicely behind that bit of terrain. Nice. So we're going to open up with the Crack Missile Launcher. Hmm. Are uh -huh. you um, doing Gilliman's Change Oath a moment thing? Uh, the, it, that, it, it's already in effect. So I declared the second unit would be the sure. Terminators. So yes, the Terminators now have Oath of Moment on them. Mm. Um, this obviously won't affect the ballistas, which is firing at the forge fiend. Very good. So two crack missile launcher shots. Crack, crack. I hit you once, I miss you once. To wound you, sir. Oh, it's a wound. <gasps> uh, strength 10. I'm assuming your toughness is... Uh, toughness is 10. Okay. Yep. Yes. What's the four. AP? The AP is 2. That and means it's time for my demon save. D6 damage. Okay. Do you wish to use a c c c c c CP? No. Okay. It's just a four. It's okay. respectable. Very nice. Respectable. Very nice. I now have my twin laser cannon. Yes. The Blister Slaz Cannon with two shots hitting on threes. We hit you once. We are strength 12. We wound you once. Minus here is three. You demon do save. No, oh, my demon saves aren't working. Do you wish to use a CP? Nope. D6 plus one. It's just the two <laughs> plus one, three. <laughs> okay, so four, five, six, seven wounds in total. Yes. I've got my four cards here because this is now like my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh style, um, you know, you've activated my trap cards. This is my <laughs> power combo. So uh, the Hell Blasters are led by the Lieutenant who's got the enhancements, um, which gives them, um, bolt, called Bolt dis Discipline, which gives them sustained hits one. If they're in Devastator Doctrine, they get critical hits on a five up. So basically sustained hits go off on a five up. Nice. Being a lieutenant or lieutenant, he's already got lethal hits as part of his ability. So that goes off on a five up now as well. Nice. On top of that, I'm gonna spend my CP again in the command phase, donk. And I'm gonna use the Strastrium Storm of Fire, which gives me the ignore cover ability. But wait, if I'm in Devastator Doctrine, it also improves the AP by one. Nice which I want to do because they're all firing at your Terminators, which would otherwise be partially obscured, which would mean that you'd get effectively a three-up save after everything. I am going to go in with the Hazardous, okay? Yay! <laughs> so what I've got here are, they're all in range, thanks to that nice advance roll. I've got 20 shots. Good grief. Right. They are Hazardous, they're hitting on three, so strength eight, they're minus four at this point, damage two. They're actually hitting on fours. Oh! Right. Dark Obscuration. Oh, nice. So I'm using uh, a strategy myself, which gives them stealth. But because they're Nurgle, because of uh, Abaddon having all of the marks, um, after this round of shooting, you can't select them unless they are less than 12 inches away. Great. Because of the cloud of flies and stuff. Okay. Cool. I think you've done most of your shooting. Well, that's actually you know. pretty much it. That will be my turn, in fact. So <laughs> I, will I might try and charge you with the three blade card. Oh, here yes, please. <laughs> right. Okay. I've got 20 shots. Let's come in hot. Okay. Hitting on fours now. Hot like plasma. But re rolling because of Gilliman. Don't forget the sixes and the fives all do Brucey bonuses here. Oh. Um, so I'm going to keep them to the side. Yes. Okay. I'm going to re-roll the misses, of which there are lots. Okay. Muscle. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Here we go. Okay, let's keep these sixes. Oh, it's a lot of additional hits there. A lot of additional hits. <laughs> but I did miss you lots of times too, so you know, How many additional bad. hits do you have? Um, so I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten additional hits. So three, six, seven, eight. Right, I put ten dice here, so nine, you can just ten. roll all of those okay. to uh, wounds, and you've got ten more. I'll remember. I've got ten auto wounds yes. as well, exactly. Thank you. No, thank you. No, 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 thank you. No, so thank you, please. No, no, thank you. No, thank you, Biff. No, thank you, Biff. Okay, to wound you, yeah. I get one, two, three. What's your toughness, by the way? My toughness is five. Is your toughness five? That's really good. I only wound you on three, so that's three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 wounds, plus the 10. So that's 25 wounds, wounds, is it? It's 25 wounds. Right, that seems reasonable. You wanna get some dice together? 10, 11, 12, 13, 4, 5, okay. Right, so this will be on my invulnerable save. Yes, you're invulnerable. I need a lot of these save. to go off, please. Abaddon, save us! Abaddon, save us! Okay. So one is dead already. And damage two, yeah. Two, three, four, five, 
Six and a half are slain. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that was nasty S plasma death. <laughs> Swiss cheese, plasma Swiss cheese. It is, it My is. spoilers. And now you've got, look, you've got some payback now because I've got to roll hazardous rolls. Well, all easy. you need to do, I tell you what, if you can roll six ones, you'd be just happy. call it even Stevens. I've rolled a couple. I'll take two. It's just two. Two's okay, so fine. two die. Now this is where it gets really bonkers. They could then both fire on the roll of a three plus, even though They've already shot this turn. That is quite a strange rule because they've just been blown up by a plasma core. Right? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to say flat out, I don't agree with that writing, by the way. <laughs> Boom! But, you know, <laughs> Space Marine fans would obviously want to see the power just combat. throw their own parts so, at the enemy. <laughs> I'm sure there's much nastier stuff there. Now, the good thing is, obviously, smartly, you've removed the Terminators out of line of sight anyway, so even if these two could fire, I'm out of range, line of sight of anything anyway. Well, because they, you can't hit them with, unless you're within 12, they can't be targeted anyway, because of my stinky fly cards. That is also, so it's a double can't do it. Yeah. Okay, so two are dead, that's not a problem. That is the end of my turn, bar a cheeky charge attempt from the Ooh. blade guard. <laughs> right, the blade guard emerged from the drop pod. <laughs> Courage on honor! And charge your turn. Please, please leave me alone. You're dead. No, no, they don't. Oh, I mean, you come at me. Coward. <laughs> 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 they actually, they, they spend all of their time tripping over that wall, which yeah. despite in 10th edition, you can ignore because it's only two inches high. <laughs> they, they, they're back in the previous edition. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, a, what, a, what a cinematic picture that is. <laughs> 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 well, that is my turn, Mr. Beard. Well, Always a pleasure. Uh, I've got to extend battle lines because I'm holding an objective in no man's land and my uh, home objective, so that's five points. I've got area denial because handily, of course you weren't holding with this six inches of the center of the battlefield and i am uh with the blade guard that uh, stumbled over their own feet <laughs> and then we have investigate signal uh with just this single unit down here for a further two victory points for that one corner so i've scored 12 points yeah look at you go you're crazy i've killed some stuff yes but now really the heart of your army is coming down obliterators raptors <laughs> it's all about to kick off <laughs> My command face. Yeah. That's around two. Um, I've done a little Lord of the Traitor Legions again for Abaddon's ability, so I can reroll my leadership and battle shock tests, which I might need in a minute. Yes. In fact, I'll just do it right now. Okay. Battle shock. They're okay because Abaddon is uh, Abaddon's leadership five. Oh, nice. It'll be fine. Nice. <laughs> um, aside from that, I've drawn Airy Denial as my third card based on our three card mission. So you've got Airy Denial, and I've got Airy Denial. Wow. Oh, funny. Okay. Um, as a reminder, I've got to bring it down and behind enemy lines as well. Let me think about where I want to move. Right, we'll begin the movement phase with my Legionnaires and the Master of Possession. I've advanced them because I'm using a stratum called Unnatural Swiftness, which means they can advance and charge. You do that in the movement phase. And because of his um, Demon Kin ability, I add one to my advance and charge roll. So they are very, very swift. Next, we'll move Abaddon and the Despoilers. Now, I'd like to go and pick off some of those Blade Guard, but the Hell Brutes Shoot on Death ability is terrifying. So I'm going to have to bide my time and wait till I can kill them with my own shooting. The Dark Commune are next. I'm moving up, not because they are excellent duelists, but because I've got a psychic shooting attack I want to show off. So hopefully they'll be in range. After depositing its Slaneshi cargo, the Rhino is going to park over here, draw the Hellbrute, free reign to move up and get line of sight with his Lairs cannon. And now it's time to deep strike. The Raptors strike! Just in charging range, in case the Hellbrutes, Hellbrutes, Hellblasters don't die. And discor discorching? <laughs> Action! And descending over here from the scorched heavens, these raptors arrive to mark the apocalypse and the end of my movement phase. The teleport Homer suddenly falls silent. <gasps> yes! ah! Rapid ah! ingress is now being performed ah! by my Terminators. 
for zero CP, I may add, which is ah. just as well, because I don't have any. Uh, well, actually, I've got one. <laughs> um, so that's really cool. They can deploy within three inches of the teleport homer, so it doesn't have to be wholly within. Um, and don't forget, this is down on the ground, just behind the blade guard, in fact. Uh, it's then removed from play. Goodbye. And they also, of course, still need to be nine inches away from uh, the enemy, which uh, just nine inches away from that Master of Summoning there, or Master of Possession even. Um, I was going into Final Fantasy mode for a minute there, didn't I? <laughs> Summon it for it, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's the shooting phase, and it's time for the Forge Fiend to redeem itself after several editions of Mediocrity. Yes. Looking forward to this. It's <laughs> vengeance time. I've been looking forward to this. Yeah. So, I have three Ectoplasma Cannons. They are all going to be overcharging okay. with my demonic ordnance ability. Right. I've done my um, dark packed off camera, which I got, which is lovely, for sustained hits. Sustained. Sustained. And I'm also spending a command point on profane zeal. That do. I will tell you right now, because he is uh, chaos undivided, it means I can reroll my hits and my wounds. You can reroll your hits and your wounds. Double whammy. That's savage. It's nice, that. Um, so I've also done my D3 shots off camera. I've got 13 because there's 10 models in that unit. So I get D3 shots. Okay, Actually, I'm not going to use a stratagem or anything on them because I want to try and show you guys some other stuff. So go for it. This is very exciting. <laughs> okay, re-rolling my misses, of which there are quite a few. Okay, but luckily you can re-roll. I'm re-rolling. You've got one explodes. One. Exploding hit there already. Sustained. Sustained. Okay, not bad. Okay. Not bad, not okay. bad. Okay, you hit with most and you get one extra hit. And I'll be wounding you on two. Yeah, I'm in just T4. So okay. You roll as well. Hop. And your six is no. devastating wounds? Okay, yes. So two, essentially two of them are going to be six mortal wounds. Mm. Then we've got three, six, nine additional wounds. Now normally it's AP3. Um, you are going through cover though, so it effectively becomes AP2. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fives are required here. It's not a great roll. Okay. One passes, three, six, seven, eights go through. I mean, uh, the reason I've done all the saves at the same time, by the way, is because the Lieutenant and the um, Apothecary both have three up armor saves. The Apothecary, the Primaris Apothecary here does not give a six up, ignore, feel no pain or anything like that. So I could just fast roll it. Yes. Um, right, so I failed. Eight saves, Mr. Beard. I'm very happy to hear that. Plus, you've done six mortal wounds. Yes. Who am I? <laughs> that's the that's the forge feat. Me being a forge feat. So, right now, if if you've done six mortal wounds, I have. Uh, that would kill three hell blasters, four hell blasters, five hell blasters, six hell blasters, seven hell blasters, eight hell blasters, and then there's three additional. That would kill one of my characters and leave another on one wound. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I don't mind. That's um, okay. I feel like uh, it will probably be the apothecary that would die over the lieutenant because I want the hero to live. Okay. But I'll determine that in a moment when I just pick up my hopes and dreams. That's, that's If you wouldn't mind, here. thank you. They, uh, they, they lived as they died and died as they lived in a big old ball of plasma. <laughs> Well, out of the smoke appears nothing because they're all dead. I, I, did <laughs> <laughs> I did kill the apothecary. Um, actually, I could have rolled and gotten a command point on a two plus if I kept him alive, but I feel like the, the lieutenant should be alive. I want him to mix things up in combat. But mortal wounds are applied last. Does that, apply, does that reference the gene seed he's been picking up? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I won't show that. Um, but uh, mortal wounds are applied after, so um, he's actually got two wounds left, so he's not, not, uh, he's only half dead, you know. Uh, but you've got to roll for your hazardous. Speaking of half dead, yes. Yeah. Um, so I've got three ectoplasma cannons. Oh, he's, he's all right. right. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, very exciting. Cool. Um, I should also mention um, Hellblasters do get a shoot on death rule, which is just bonkers for a three up. Um, they were not in range or line of sight of anything. These guys were actually completely hidden behind the cargo containers there, so very well played. So uh, that's why I've not done that. Splendid. And speaking of hazardous, we're going to move on now to my dark commune. Okay. The Mind Witch, specifically. Uh, I'm going to unleash a psychic shot into your blade guard over there. Ooh. Um, it's a, called a Warp Curse. Okay. Yar. And I will be making a Focus Witch fire, which is essentially Overcharge, baby. Um, do I pass my uh, 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 Dark Pack? Yes, I do. That's nice for them. Um, so I will be... 
Any you on threes? With my three shots. Um, now I have Mark of Zinch, and I forget what that does for my thing. Uh, so lethal hits goes off on fives. So that's nice. So we've got basically um, one's auto wound. One, one auto wound, and it is sustained because it's sustained. Uh, focus witch fire and a failed wound and, and a failed wound and a normal wound because it is strength five. Your toughness four, I think. Ooh, well, blade guard are a bit of a funny one. But they are toughness four, yes. Okay, so that's two wounds at minus one, please. Okay, I got it. And I'm your, uh, uh, am I in cover? I, cover? You're going through, through, through the, the, the barrier yes. there, so uh, you're okay. uh, What's the minus, sorry? Uh, minus one. Um, I'm assuming that goes through then. It does, yeah, because your shield give you an extra wound rather than extra. Yes, uh, rather than an extra save. save like Correct. Cool, so okay. that's two damage. Ouch, right what in curse. the damage. <laughs> We'll move on to the Terminators and Abaddon. So three of them can draw a bead onto your blade guard over there, as can Abaddon himself. One of them is behind a massive pillar and can't see anything. Sure. Uh, I've done my Dark Pact off camera, uh, which I passed. Do I get my command point for Abaddon? Yes, I do. So that's one command point for me, which is lovely. And now I have three shots of my combi bolters into your blade guard. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Sustained. Sustained. Lovely. <laughs> uh, and I'll be wounding you on fours because it's anti infantry four. Yeah. <gasps> oh, two devastating wounds. Interesting. So that's two mortal wounds yep. and a regular wound. Strength four. They apparently. are strength four, yes. Yep. Uh, so one uh, regular save passes. Lovely. Uh, but two mortal wounds go through, so that will kill a blade guard and put a wound on another. Devastating. And then Abaddon himself. Hey. The Talon of Horus. <laughs> no sustained. Okay. The Talon of Horus! Uh, it is strength five. Okay, so that is two wounds. He doesn't have devastating, no. So it's two wounds. This is going to be minus one, please. Okay. One goes through. Two damage. Oof, I'll kill another blade guard because he is just possible to wound out. Next up is the Hell Brute. Twin linked Laz Cannon into his seemingly impenetrable hull. Um, I do hit you, thankfully. Can I wound you? I can wound you. Uh, you are going through cover, so it'll be minus two effectively. Oh, it does go through. Finally, D6 plus one. Huh. Ooh, Ooh, six wounds from the Minus land. one, so five, because he has damage reduction of one. Chunky boy. Still, he's only got five wounds left. The Obliterators. Yeah. Last of the heavy hitters. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to target again your Redemptor and try and finish him off. I've done my like Dark it. Pact off camera, but failed my leadership, so yes. I do take D3 more wounds. It's happened eventually. For my pleasure. That's Only cool. the one. That's not bad. So, one's down to four wounds. Uh, but I do get to reroll my hit rolls of one, which is very pleasant. So, um, I only rolled a three on my 2D3 here because I am using the Focused Malice, which is the big shot, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So, can I hit you? I can reroll the one because my Dark Pact's gone off. Your Dark Pact. Because uh, they are uh, Chaos Undivided, I can reroll once to hit. Oh, it, be, it always oh, goes off. Oh, it see, goes if, off if, anyway. Yeah, if I you understand. fail leadership, you take D3. Oh, I see. Wounds. That's very yeah. cool. Okay. There's not many reasons not to yeah. do it every single time. You basically just, your worst is you'll lose some mortal wounds. Okay. Yes, I will never not do it. <laughs> um, it's strength 12, so it's three to win. Yeah, three to win. That is okay. two wounds. Minus three, but I'm, you, I'm going through the crater there, so you will get a. Uh, Come on! Oh, no! Fail both! Damage four, but damage eight, because two went through. Uh, well, it'd be minus one, so, but yes, he would be destroyed. Six damage. Oh, dear. Explode. Deadly demise. No, but the Redemptor falls. Dead. <gasps> Boom. Boomba. It's the charge phase. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Um, my Legionnaires, led by the Mars Possession, are going to declare a charge into your Blade Guard. Okay. Now, because he is a... Whatever he is. I basically, I get plus one to uh, advance and charge. Okay. he has an ability called something. Demonkin. 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 Thank you. Uh, on a four, makes it a five. Still make it. Does do the <clears throat> trick. Yeah, Master of Possession is within four. Anyway. Lovely. So, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Hold that thought. Okay. You've now finished your charge. Yep. I'm going to activate my rights of battle. <laughs> yes! For zero CP, I can now activate a stratagem on that unit. Once we're battle round, yes. um, and I'm going to activate the heroic intervention stratagem. That's nice. Yes. Right, so that Terminator Captain gives that to it himself and the unit, which is really great. So now I have to declare a charge on you. I do need to roll the charge roll. This is a ruin, so I can go through the wall technically, but so I have to go around models, etc. I need a six. 
Okay, you can do this once for battle round. Usually costs two CP, it's a donut. Okay. Six to make it in, it's an eight. So the blade guard do a shield wall, yeah. and then from behind them, <laughs> through the turn, through the deep strike turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they probably they all of a sudden open their shields. Oh. And they stand <laughs> Very exciting. It is. <laughs> uh, last charge to do. My raptors are going to charge into your drop pod to see if I can take the objective. Okay. Which I cannot. No. Okay. That's fine. Uh, the other raptors and the obliterates I'm going to keep over there because I want to leave them there for bring it down. If I charge uh, Rabuti Gilliman, might be in for a bad time. He's, he's, he welcomes you. Quite possibly. Hey, come on, charge. So I'll leave charge them me. where they are. And charge we'll me. Prepare. Derek. And fight face. Derek. Hing. Here we go. Okay. 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 So we can do this in two halves because yep. I've got five of them striking into your blade guards, the other five and the master possession are going to strike, strike into your terminators, okay. just based on where they are and base to base contact and whatnot. And also the master possession does some cool stuff. Okay. So we'll come back to that. Uh, I'm going to, unfortunately, I was trying to save the CP, but I've got to try and keep the terminators alive because these legionnaires are really spicy in combat. You're re-rolling wounds because you're near an objective. Yeah. Here. Veterans of the Long War. Okay. I'm going to use Armor of Contempt for one CP on the terminators and the blade guard are going to activate the shields of the Imperium. So you know that shield wall that I mentioned? Yes. Well, they are really doing it. <laughs> uh, so uh, on the uh, rolls of one, with their invulnerable save, they can re-roll it. Nice. So, yeah. Very good. I've done my Dark Pact because okay. this is a unit of Slanesh. Uh, I get sustained hits on fives. Nice. Which is nice. Uh, I'm going to do the champion separately because he has an accursed weapon. Which one? Which is this on? This is into this? your blade guard. Blade guard first. Okay. The blade guard. The blade guard. We got some sustained hits there. Yeah, lots of. I've, I've not hit you very much. I've missed you a few times, but that's okay. That's sustained. Okay. Sustained. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I mean, it's not. So Did you bad. say it's going off on fives or sixes? Fives. There's one, one extra me. Oh yes, nearly a full host Maybe because full of that. Host. Yeah. And it will be fours to wound you. Yep. But re-rolling. Re -roll, right. Which is crazy. Because I'm a veteran of the long war. Yeah, Chaos Marines now. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> is this their time? Finally. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> yeah. uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wounds. Six. Ordinarily minus one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, these are minus one on my blade guard. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to four up. So I'm just going to say that I'm using my storm shield so that I can reroll one. Okay. Fours. Rerolling the one. Oh, not bad. Rerolling the one, one. Oh, that's a great roll. Very Only good. two wounds go through. That's a problem. All oh, three of the blade guards stand. Uh, yeah. The accursed weapon from ah. my champion. Oh no, it's all gone horribly wrong. Uh, can I wound you? It is a wound. It's minus two, this one. The shield of the emperor. Oh no! Well, <laughs> he emerges from behind his shield and then <laughs> decapitates you. No! Well, that didn't go to plan, but maybe it will with the Terminator. Maybe. Let's see. Maybe. Chain swords. That's better. Lots of hitting. Many hitting. And sustained hits on fives. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oof. Six. Exactly the amount I missed with. Oof. My goodness. The full house. My goodness gracious. Um, I will be winning you on fives here, though. Okay. Because you're a chunky boy. Yeah, terminators. I can reroll my wounds. Uh, which makes this slightly awkward. Yeah, Terminator's toughness five now. It's very nice. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. And then re-rolling my wounds. For I'm a veteran of the long war. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So we have four, uh, uh, eight, ten, eleven, twelve wounds. Four, six, eight, eight ten. Full save. I get two up saves because of that armor of contempt, reducing your minus one to zero. Yes. Two. One wound goes through. Oh. Look, if you had that minus one, oh. it would have made a big difference. It would have been very different. Right, I'm going to move on to my master possession. I'm going to do something cool. I'm going to use his sacrificial dagger. Oh. I'm going to stab one of my legionnaires directly in the spleen. Um, he takes one mortal wound, but it means I get plus one to my hit and wound roll with my staff of possession because it's a psychic weapon. Okay. Yes. So four attacks here. Um, sustained? Sustained. Ouch. My goodness. So three Ouch. more. Okay. Uh, and then it will be uh, strength six, so it's twos to wound. Because you're getting plus one to wound? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Reroll the one because he's in the, 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 the squad. So that's seven wounds. Uh, these five. are minus one. 
Okay. Wow. So, still twos, luckily. One goes through. Oh man, it's D3 damage. Okay. <laughs> Just one wound. One. Okay, so one Terminator is still alive. Thing you on one on wound. Contempt. It's a very good thing. <laughs> I had a feeling I might need it. It's now time for the Terminators to strike. Yes. So uh, the Terminators, um, the Sergeant actually can't uh, get into uh, attacking range. Uh, incidentally, we've also moved the models around the objective because the objective is on the bottom and you cannot end your move on the objective uh, as per the rules in 10. So with that in mind, Sergeant can't fight, uh, but four Terminators swing their power fists into your face. <laughs> Hitting on threes. Um, with power live. fists now as well, by the way. Uh, so some misses there. If we had Oath of Moment on that unit, I would get some. Um, uh, I would get to add one to the hit roll, but I don't. So. Okay, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> Two to wound. Because uh, your toughness four still. I'm assuming. Yes. Okay, that is three, four, five, six, seven wounds. At seven wounds. AP minus two. Okay. Five up saves. Oh, they've done all right. Yes. They've done all right, you know. So four, go four go through. One had already lost a mortal wound anyway. Okay. Because um, you stabbed him in the spleen. I did. Uh, right, I'm damaged two. Damage two. With a power fist, I'm damaged two. Okay, so that's going to be eight wounds, because I've got six up fill and no pain with my Yes. Position. Oh, and my mortal wound as well. Can I save any? I can save three of them. Uh, so one is three. dead, two, three and a half. Three and a half are dead. Are slain by power fists okay. to the brain. Okay, we then have the captain himself. Ah. Before we continue, yes. my marsh position has the intoxicating elixir enhancement, which gives him a five foot feel no pain, but also means if I hit you at any of my, any of my attacks, you have to do a battle shot test. And he, so he's got a five up feel no pain. Well, I fail that battle shot. Yes, you battle shocked. Oh, so the Terminator's do nothing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to strike with the captain now. Yes. Uh, the captain has seven attacks with the honor vehement. Oh. Of course, you can still do whatever you want, even though you're battle shot. Just no yeah. stratagems and your OC zero. Now. Yes. Well, I don't have any uh, CP, uh, but they don't. They won't be able to hold the objective unless I kill you anyway. In which case, the blade guard would hold it. Spooky sorcerer. Okay. Hitting on twos because it plus one attack, plus one strength with the honor vehement. I hit you all of the time. Ouchie. With my relic blade. I wound you on threes. Uh, I wound you four times. These are also minus two, and they are also damage two. Okay. Five up power armor saves. Okay. Two go through. So I've got four feel no pains to do for the wounds that I've lost. I come on now. Uh, you've killed another, another two. two, and one's lost a wound. You're carving through. Them. Well, the the one wouldn't lose a wound because the damage would just go on the same guy. But I killed two. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> And now, time for the blade guard. Oh no. They draw their swords. <laughs> Hitting on threes. I picked oh, on the wrong wow. space marines. That's not great. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then threes to wounds. Only three wounds <gasps> from the blade guard. They're obviously too busy defending. Minus oh. two, damage two. Uh, I do pass two of them. Okay, so just damage two. Feel no pain. I do feel some pain. Okay, so um, they kill so enough. I've now got four left in the squad. Four left, okay. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Well, that's the end of my turn. Savage combat. Took a lot of a lot of damage there from uh, from <laughs> everything in the yeah, middle. Yeah. Uh, but that's fine. They are still alive, just yes. about. Um, in terms of my cards, I did get behind enemy lines with my obliterators and my raptors. I did get bring it down for killing the redemptor. I'm going to discard area denial because I feel like there's going to be quite a lot happening in the middle there yes. uh, for the for the coming <laughs> turns. So it'll be a fresh draw for me in the next turn. Um, I got. Uh, 10 points in the primary at the beginning, but now it's over to you, sir. It is. Your turn, too. All right. Right, my command phase now. Now, weirdly, the battle shocked Terminators are now not battle shocked because they don't need to take a test because they're not under half strength, etc. So they will count towards the objective. Indeed. Which, incidentally, I've now effectively got nine models. And you've, uh, you've got nine models because of your OC of two. So we are at a stalemate. We yeah. need, to, need to hold the objective. So I do pick up 10 for the primary at the end of this command phase. Uh, incidentally, um, I've also drawn cleanse. Mm -hmm. um, so the drop pod can technically do that on that objective and that will get me three points, which is quite nice. Great. Uh, attempting target, you've chosen that objective over oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I might not be able to get that. And bring it down. So if I, if I can destroy that forge fiend, <gasps> that would be worth four for me, which you is got quite four nice. Left. 
Um, I'm going to have a little look about, uh, think about what uh, Gilliman and my combat doctrine may be now. Let me have a think. Okay, I am going to do his uh, pick a second Oath of Moment again oh, with his no. author of the Codex. Uh, the primary Oath of Moment is going to be that Forge Fiend. If I destroy that Forge Fiend, the second Oath of Moment will go on your t -t 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 Terminators. So. Okay. Now here's the big kicker. I'm going into Tactical Doctrine. Oh no! Which means that I can fall back and still shoot and charge. No. Oh, snap, crackle and pop. Oh, yes. Please don't pop me. <laughs> so uh, that's all done. Now I also need to take a battle shock test for my blade guard uh, over there. He is under half strength. He is. Four, five, six. He just passes. Lucky him. <laughs> uh, so he can have stratagems put on him if I so choose. And he does count as having objective control. All right, let's get into it. Courage and honor. Don't forget, we ignore the wall because it's only two inches. Former crag. Whopping eight inch move. And then the primary lieutenant also follow suit. Intercessors, just move up here. Little flanking maneuver there. These intercessors will run around here. The terminators now fall back towards Abaddon's bodyguard. Yes. The blade guards will then also fall back, level some bolt pistol action in a minute before charging again. It's Ballista Strength Not Time, baby! <laughs> <laughs> We've got a Twin Laz Cannon into your Forge Fiend. We've okay. got a Crack Missile into your Forge Fiend. Uh huh. We've got the Storm Bolters into your Ro -ro 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 Raptors. I see. Let's open up with a Laser <laughs> Cannon. Okay, uh, Ballista Laz Cannon. With the Oath of Moment ability, we can re roll that hit. No! The moment we, is not now. <laughs> it's not now. Uh, to wound you, what is your toughness? But it's loads. I'm going to re-roll that because of Oath of Moment, assuming the two is a fail. It now becomes a wound. I'm toughness a ten. Yeah. Okay. Well, I needed a three. I've re-rolled it with Oath of Moment, and I've wounded you, sir. Okay. It is a minus three, but you're in cover, so effectively a minus two. Demon save. Demon save. No. 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 Right. It's D six plus one da -da 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 damage. He's alive on a wound. He's no, alive on a wound. No, he's alive on two wounds. No. Okay, we then have the uh, crack missile launcher. M -m 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 missile launcher. Double hit. Ooh, no wounds. Rerolling with Oath of Moment. Double six. Oh, double six. <laughs> okay, uh, minus two on the crack missile, sir. Double demon save. I get one demon save, it's not enough demon saves. Right, the crack missile launcher is d6 damage, so anything but that. Oh, it would be naff to use a CP reroll, but this is the classic example of where you really should use it. Yeah, I mean, you've, you, yeah. I have to destroy it, it's my bring it down mission. I'm gonna use the CP reroll, from <laughs> zero to hero. <laughs> I've used my CP, but it shows you intense, you don't use it very often now. No. But I have destroyed you. I'm gonna roll Deadly Demise uh, because, I mean, no. No, oh, it's just sixes and ones this game, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we got uh, Gilliman now with the Hand of Dominion. I did do the Storm Bolter, it did nothing on the Raptors. Surprise, surprise. But the Hand of Dominion will not fail me. <laughs> Hitting on twos into those Raptors. We hit you three times. Nice. Very nice. There's no special rules on it other than Rapid Fire 2. Yes. To wound you, we got two wounds there. Mr. Beard. Yay, it's minus uh, two. Minus two? It is minus huh? two. <gasps> it doesn't matter. Life. It doesn't matter. They the just, hand of dominion. They just jetpack out of the way. The hand of, yeah. Right, done a lot of little uh, pits of pacifier. Uh, blade guard over there, bolt pistol did nothing. The hand of dominion you've seen. Um, this one actually did a crack grenade uh, via the, uh, the, the bolter and did kill one of the raptors. Did, very and then cool. these pitter pattered off of your rhino. Other than that, that's it. Also, bolt pistols inside the, with the blade guard failed to do anything. Yeah. I'm now going to fire the terminators. Ooh. All of these storm bolters into your cultists, the assault cannon into your terminators. The doctrine's coming in handy. <sighs> oh, but you've got Oath of Do you know what? I'm actually, I'm just going to fire everything at your terminators. It's sure. simpler that way. Storm bolters first. Here we go. Hitting on threes, <laughs> re-rolling, because Oath of Moment now affects them. Burn <laughs> oh. No, we won't. Uh, toughness on your Terminators is five though, right? Ooh. Yeah, so it's fives to win. Show me, boys. Re-rolling here. Oh, the oath, oath of, is, the oath the is long. The Oath of Moment, hello. Long and fruitful. 
Yes. Okay, there's no AP here for you to worry about or anything like that. That is three, six, nine wounds on the Terminator, sir. Nine wounds. Nine wounds. I'm trying Thank to you. reveal a badden, the prize. Never. Nine wounds. Oh, oh you we killed kill a Terminator. One. That's not bad. Ah. Okay, we've then got the assault cannon, which is now six shots, no AP, but it does have devastating wounds. Threes. Rerolling. Rerolling. <laughs> Really that way. Uh, okay, and then it's uh, threes, because we are throwing six. Yes. Six is devastating wounds. No devastating wounds, but I still got a chance to fish for a double six. Come on! <laughs> no, it's only five wounds. Five wounds. Two, two up saves. You'll be fine. <laughs> I, I, I you take do one wound. more wound. Okay, so I kill a Terminator and I take a wound. Look, I'll take that. I'm going to charge you soon. <laughs> okay, it's time for Gilliman. <laughs> you guys charge on both. <laughs> Gilliman. Primark of the Ultra Marines. Well, he's made it, because um, even if I rolled a one, which I do, he makes it. <laughs> but uh, it does mean that he can only just go whoop. And going like so. whoop, whoop is probably enough for him. Yeah, it's enough. Uh, now, whilst we're here, I will also charge the left turn. Oh, yes. Just into your Raptors, because he wouldn't be able to fit to the obliterators. Anyway. Very well. He does make oh, it. He does. That's nice. Vengeance okay. for his full and head blasters. The Terminators now charge Abaddon and his bodyguards. Yes. Black Legion guy! Whoa! Okay, blade guards uh, that fell back, so we the tactical doctrine will now charge the Master of Possession again. You will die! <laughs> <laughs> and then whilst we're here, I'll do the slow blade guard into those raptors over there. Yes. Die! That'll do yes, it. That'll do it. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. It's now the fight phase. I'm beginning with the Terminators. I know oh. you've got a little, you know, a little interrupt over there. And not even looking. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> he, dealing with them. He disregards these pawns. Right, uh, I've got four Terminators to power fists. Yep. Sergeant strikes separately with his power sword. You, uh, because I've got Fury of the First Rule, and that is an Oath of Moment uh, unit, I add one to the hit roll. So I'm hitting you on twos, re roll. Nice. Die. Reroll that one. Die. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's now nice power fist now hitting on threes. Anyway, to wound you, you are tough as five actually. Five. So threes to wound, but again, re-rolling. Because the open open moment's made. just, you know, beyond bonkers. Right, uh, three, six, nine, ten, eleven wounds. Eleven wounds. Eleven wounds. I don't know what you call them. Uh, eleven wounds at minus two. Corrupt, so. whatever the chaos equivalent is. Corrupt. Corrupt. Corrupt something. Corrupt also, corruption. four up invulnerable now for Terminators, is. which is really nice. Indeed. So you so killed you, you one, pretty well. you've killed two, you've killed three. I've killed three to... Does that leave just a badden left? Just a badden. The sergeant. You, yeah! You've bothered him now. Because <laughs> that is what he is. He's just like a screeching little goblin compared to the majesty of the <laughs> uh, right. We Peasant. now have... <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what do you want, Bourne? <laughs> right, four attacks from my sergeant. He hits you all the time. Oh, he's a keen oh, bee. He reckons himself. He's trying to, trying to become a captain or something. Keen bee. To wound you. What's your toughness? Of a badden. He is just toughness five. He's just a terminator. Okay, well, I would be wounding you on... F yeah, fours then. I wound you all four times. This sergeant wants to be somebody. He does. The power weapon is also minus two, but it's only damage one. Minus two, damage one, is it? Yep. Hup. He's fine. And another three wounds. He wounded you another, all the time. Another three? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's not fine. Oh, he did. Not fine did he so. take you th take three wounds? <laughs> yeah, he takes three wounds. <laughs> As the bloody blade of the sergeant is now retracted, the captain stands forward with the honor of the ah. Face me, war master. No, that's what you think you are. <laughs> Seven attacks, hitting on twos. Ooh, Ooh. Re rolling with the oath of Moby. This is one. Oh. Nerves. The Dark Destiny. Nerves. <laughs> Three swings, I'm strength six, because again, the honor vehement with my relic, bl relic blade. Uh, I, okay, I've got six wounds. Six wounds. At minus two, sir, with the relic blade. The War Master. Oh, wait, oh, what does that mean? He's still alive with two wounds. Oh, you <laughs> scum. He's nearly <laughs> dead. Scum. Not yet. Scum. <laughs> scum. <laughs> scum. Yes. I'm going to spend two command points on counter-offensive. Okay. So strike next. And that's with these Marines and the Master of Possession. Yes. Who are re-rolling all their wounds. Yes. And you've done a dark pact. Yes. And you succeeded without wounding yourself. Yes. Ugh. I'm going to do a shield wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Chainswords first of all. I have to do the uh, champion separately because... Okay. Um, 
he has a different weapon. Yeah, but you get sustained hits on five. I do, so I get I get the ones I miss with. How convenient. Uh, I'll be wounding you on fours. Yeah. Re-rolling because I'm a veteran of the long war. So wall. good. It makes the Chaos Legion is really quite interesting. It does. There's a lot of attacks. Blup. Okay, not bad. Six wounds at minus one. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Shield walls. <laughs> okay, we fail two. Can't re-roll those because you're minus one, right? Yes. Okay, that's two wounds. It kills one, does a wound on another. The champion. So I only have one wound The accursed weapon. Uh, I hit you all the times because of sustained. Yes. Pop. I wound you four times because this is strength five, I think. Strength five, strength five, yeah, strength five. Okay. These are minus two, the accursed weapons. It'll go to my four up anyway. Yes. Reroll a one because the shield wall. Oh. Two go through. Cheeky. Damage. Uh, just damage one. Okay, but it does kill another because you had a spilled wound there. So two blade guard are dead, leaving only the sergeant alive. <laughs> and then the marsh possession. Okay. And the staff of possession. I'm not going to do any stabbing this time because I've already got three left. Right. Uh, okay. I have... Oh, so I hit you three times yes, because sustained. it's sustained. I've wounded you twice. Okay. These are at minus one. Minus one. Okay. Oh, I saved both of the shields. Oh, Please. cheeky, the sergeant's still alive. Oh. <laughs> it's a good old Primaris Lieutenant time. Oh. Five attacks with his Mastercrafted sword into those raptors. This is for everyone that loves a Primaris Lieutenant. Hits you with all of them. Come on, guys. Hits you with all of them. Oh, well, I'm you. Threes. It's only two wounds. Oh, no. No. Oh. Oh. GW, we're going to have to make another model now. <laughs> <laughs> It's minus two. He kills one. He do kill one. Cut one down. Out the sky. The Empress Soul. <sighs> Can you please kill them? Because he's had a rough, a rough addition in ninth. He has, yeah. He wasn't the best. I'm gonna. He's got 14 attacks with this weapon. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's gonna do four of those attacks on those raptors. Oh, he's splitting, do, are we? Yeah. He's gonna do 10 attacks with the Empress uh, with uh, on the obliterators. The whirling dervish. It does have devastating wounds as well. Mar mar marvelous. Okay. The four attacks on the raptors. Okay. This is just a little bit of a swishy, oh, of course he misses twice. So one raptor will live. <laughs> I would let, yeah, one raptor. Are there two wounds a pop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to wound you. Two wounds go through, no devastating wounds. These are at minus three. Minus three? Minus three. Jiminy crickets, yes. So he kills two raptors, but one is alive. <laughs> yes, very good. We then have 10 attacks. Okay. On the obliterators. What's the strength? The strength is eight. Okay. So I'll be wounding your obliterators are whopping toughly seven. They are. They? Yeah. Uh, okay. Now I will wound you on threes, but sixes are just straight up devastate mortal wounds. Okay. That's three sixes. Shuffer now I did fail three attack. wounds, <laughs> okay. but that is two, four, six mortal wounds, and then three saves of, uh, well, minus three to make as well. Demon saves. Okay. Demon saves. I pass one. What's the damage? Two. So you Two. take eight damage in total. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. You've killed them on the nose. Ooh. It's like yeah, some no, kind no. of codex compliant kill, no, that no. is. Yeah, it was just it was just like a, a single thrust that yeah. <laughs> And he flicks their blood onto the raptor. I need that blood to live. Yeah. <laughs> is this it? But a spoiler. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hopefully they'll put up a similar display to what Gilliman just did. Eight attacks with Drac Nien. Okay. Hitting on twos. Good weapon. Uh, I've done my dark pack for sustained yeah. because sustained is my favorite. <laughs> That's a lot of sustained hits there. Oh my goodness. Oh my golly gosh. Um, we will do. Uh, it's twos to wounds. It's strength 14 with Drac Nien. It's Drac Nien. I have failed to wound you for. Okay. Interesting, the sustained hits you got then must have failed to wound. Oh wow. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, but that is six, six wounds. wounds. You do get your Crux Terminatus. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Save, but any you Five, fail, six. damage three. <sighs> Boss for the Emperor. It's bang on the average. Not bad. But that's three Terminators cut in half <laughs> by Dragon. Yeah. Here we go. The Blade Guard in the center. The one that survived that Master of Possession's attacks. <laughs> he will die, scum. Ooh, three hits there, oh, me. Cheeky. Three hits in the house He's there, He's a weapon, this fella. He is. Two wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds. One goes through. You damage two. Cut. Oh, 
Feel no pain. Oh, yes, for the master possession. Oh, oh, oh you got Marina Lando. Oh, 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 save me. Uh, <laughs> um, I will take a battle shock test for him because you, you did that uh, master of possession thing. He does pass this time. Edge. Um, but okay, all right. Oh, well, some savage combat's happened off camera here. So my blade guard squad over there did kill four of your raptors. Squads, one guy. Yeah. Can't fall out the air. But in turn, you took two wounds from me with yeah, your cursed champion. weapon. Yeah. And uh, I failed my battle shot test because you're minus one. Yeah. Which raptors get, so super spooky. Yep. Your raptor, however, unsurprisingly bounced off of Gilliman and did it's absolutely a, nothing. A, a little bit of a bounce. A he, he, he just parried. Yeah. It's going to pick you up now by the neck. Ah. Force, force kill. Uh, right, that is that. Mm -hmm. That's the end of the turn. Indeed. Um, I did get uh, cleanse with the drop pod over here. Yep. Uh, for the three victory points, because we're using tactical. Um, I didn't get attempting target. I'm actually going to discard attempting target and I'll just take a free CP instead. Very good. Okay. Um, and then I did get bring it down. For nice. the four victory points. You brought it down. So uh, four, five, six, seven victory points earned this turn, plus my 10 for the primaries. I'll take that. Nice. round three. Yeah. I tell you what, it's been a brutal game. Yeah, it's like, no. <laughs> Shiver my timbers. Yeah. Uh, right, so I've drawn Defense Stronghold, No Prisoners, and Assassination. So not a bad draw. No. Not bad at all. Um, for my Warmaster ability, I'm going to do Paragon of Hatred. Okay. It's very cross, because he's down to two wounds, which means that any uh, of my units within six can reroll hits. Oh, nice. Which is nice, including him. Including him, yeah. Yes. Um, Outside of that, I do need to do a battle shock test for my squad inside the. Yeah, and this is a, a good example because if you fail it, you won't hold that objective, no. which means you only get 10 versus, versus 15 points. That is end. correct. Uh, my special leadership six. Oh, I thought that was a <laughs> They do hold it. So that will be the, the full the big 15, 15 points. Pretty massive. Which is very nice indeed. Okay, cool. That's everything done in the command phase. Now let's do a little bit of movement. Not much at all. One last thing to do uh, in the command phase. I'm going to spend my command point I gain this turn on skin shift because Abaddon has Mark of Slanesh. He will regain three wounds for a command point, which is very pleasant indeed. Anyway, we'll move on now. The Dark Commune are going to move over this way towards the drop pod and the other objective to try and claim it for the Dark Gods. The Hellbrute is going to move over this way towards the Terminators and the Rhino is going to move slightly further away from the Intercessors, but close enough to keep holding the objective. That is the end of my movement phase. It's the shooting phase. We're going to start off with a couple of plasma pistols from the remaining raptors, of which there are two. Yes. Now, um, I've just made a dark pact with the Chaos Gods over there, and I've been smited because I failed my leadership check yeah. with him. Uh, but I do get sustained hits with my overcharging plasma pistol. Nice. So you take the mortal wounds after? Yes, okay. after I've allocated my attacks. Um, can I hit you? Plasma pistol. No sustained, no. sadly. Um, can I wound you? I can wound you. So if you fail this, he is dead. Uh, so it's minus, uh, minus three on the supercharged plasma pistol. On Gilliman? No, 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 on the, on the lieutenant. Oh, on the lieutenant? Yeah. Oh, he's dead then? Yeah, there's two <laughs> damage. Do I die? No. Well, not yet anyway, because Gilliman will kill him. Um, on you this- took two mortal wounds. Huh? Oh no, oh, no, it's D3 mortal wounds. You just did it, it was a three. That was for my hazardous. He's still dead. Oh, I see. Yeah, it was, it was double danger. Oh, that wasn't even for the pack. <laughs> double danger. <laughs> Over so here. he's dead, but yeah. my lieutenant's dead. Lieutenant's dead. That's crazy, okay. Everyone's dead. Yeah. Over here, um, I'm not gonna bother overcharging, he's only got one wound left. Right. Uh, the good thing too. Well, no, because I it missed. It wouldn't matter, but yes, yeah, you missed. Fine. <laughs> uh, he's missed, they'll stay in combat. He's okay. dead, he's dead. How okay. exciting. Pop. <laughs> Right, we rattled through a couple of bits of shooting. The Hellbrute over here fired its twin LAS cannon into the ballistas, but you made your save. Saved. Over here, the uh, warp curse from the Mind Witch went into the drop pod, and I failed to wound, because it's a chunky boy. Yeah. What we are going to do, though, in the ruins over there, is the Master Possession is going to unleash his right of possession. Okay. So he's going to try and suck the soul directly out of your head. <laughs> okay. um, I'm going to use my sacrificial dagger. Yep. Um, so I do do a mortal wound. Can I feel no pain it? No, one marine is sacrificed okay. to the dagger, but I do get plus one to hit and wound here. So I'll be hitting you. Uh, you've got one wound left. I'm not going to overcharge because 
it's silly not because it's damage two already. Okay. Uh, no, no, I'm going to overcharge because it's strength six. Ah! Um, so I have two attacks. I hit you twice. Okay. I have. I'll be wounding you on twos because it's strength six plus but one I'm to wounds. Four. Oh, plus one to wounds. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So that's two wounds. Okay. Uh, yes. Two wounds at minus three. <sighs> the shield of the emperor protects. Yes. It does! No! No! Face Do, me, demon! It's hazardous. Oh. <laughs> you walk a fine line, Ooh, Mr. Venus! I will always walk the fine line! <laughs> charge face. Yeah. Rattling through here. Okay. The dark commune will charge into the drop pod. Need a 10. Okay. Ha! A big old charge. Oh, oh it's close! Oh, it's close! It's what I need, though, the hell brute into the terminate. Okay. It's needing a 4. Oh, he makes it! Oh, it's very oh. stressful! Very stressful, <laughs> but he is in, which is important, because I need him to help out a bad and... Does he need to help? Yes, because you're striking first, so I do need that help. Yeah. <laughs> cool, right, that's the charge is done. It's now time for the fight phase. Okay. It begins. It begins, Vince! The Hell Brute will strike into the Terminator with his power scourge. Okay. Um, I've got eight attacks, I've done my dark packs, I've got sustained and lethal hits. Okay. I didn't take any more tools, he's an 11. He's very uh, keen. I'm going to... Uh use my free stratagem from the captain. Ooh. Only in death does duty end. Oh, no. So that two CP strat is now free. It's another yep. space for strat for your viewing pleasure. Yep. Uh, basically, if you kill me, I will fight anyway. Here we go. Right. Okay, so I have got... Hang on. Oh, yeah, I've got one. I can re-roll these because of Abaddon with his ability. I forget what it's called for re-roll hits. Okay, very nice. So that is uh, two additional hits, so one more essentially, because I have missed one. Okay. Uh, it will be threes to wound you. Okay. Strength seven. Okay. Oh, mm, mm, okay. Wounds. Five wounds. Five wounds, only minus one. Okay. You got three up saves. <laughs> oh no! Ooh. Ooh. What's the damage? Damage two. Okay. Okay, well that would kill a Terminator. Okay. And put one on one wound. Two, four, six, yes. Okay, uh, that's fine. We will kill the sergeant. And okay. we'll put the other Terminator on a wound. Okay. However, the sword. Yes. Will attack. Yes. Abaddon. Okay. Oh. Wait, I'm going to use a stratagem as well. Ah, I'm just frightened. I'm going to use infernal rights yeah. to reduce your AP by one. Okay. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> I've been shaking. Now this is the sergeant that had wounded Abaddon before. Okay. okay. Uh, so we got four attacks here. Ah. We hit you twice. Okay. We're not getting re-rolls or anything like that. No. Oath of Moment doesn't work because Abaddon's a single model. But also, any special rules wouldn't work now because it's out of sequence. Yes. So a lot of lots to digest, but trust me, that's how it <laughs> works. Uh, but we do not wound you. Okay. Okay, so he, he's sergeant's dead, that's it. Okay. And you, your hell breaks four, right? Yep. Okay, well then that's my turn to attack. Uh, I will be attacking. Uh, okay, so now time for me to strike back with the bear. Well, you don't have to. I do. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> um, okay, so the Terminator is going to strike with this power fist. Yes. Okay, we've got two hits. Okay. All right. Couple of hits there. We got there. <laughs> it's three to wound. We've got a wound. One wound. <sighs> okay, so it'll be AP one because of my profane zeal. It's okay. War master. <laughs> War master invigorated by the sergeant being impaled by the hell brutes in the back. Time for the honor of the <laughs> We'll die, War master. No. They all hit but one. Okay. <laughs> Fours to wound. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> three wounds. Three wounds. Okay. It's three wounds, Mr. Beard. Okay. Three up saves. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh okay. he's not even taking any wounds. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Back to the center of the battlefield. Okay. The never ending combat. Chain swords! I've got sustained because I've done my dark, my dark, dark deeds. Packs, yeah. uh, I get two more hits with sustained. Uh, Force to wound. It, it's not bad. Oh, I mean, it's, 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 it's only three. 
It's three. Minus one. He's got one move left. Any one move left? Uh. Oh, uh, fighting stance wise, it's the re roll ones. Um, of course. But of course. Re roll ones. Go. Oh, he dies oh. finally. Oh, <laughs> effort. Okay. Now it's a bat. Abaddon, sorry. Okay. <laughs> right, I've done my dark pact. Didn't take any mortal wounds. Done it for his slanesh mark, so fives will be a sustained hit for Dragon Yen. Dragon Yen! He can re roll because I don't need to anyway. Oh, and you get one sustained? Okay, okay, That's okay, fine. okay, yeah, okay. Don't, don't <laughs> anything, I guess. Okay. Uh, two to wound, straight okay. 14. Dragon Yen. Okay. Drop the couple. Drop the couple. Drop the couple. Right. One is devastating. Devastating wounds. So it's three mortal wounds and six saves. Okay. So I'm going to kill the. Well, the Terminator's dead, and then two wounds will go over eventually. But it's six saves. Three, four, five, six. The Emperor protects. The Captain will survive. <laughs> oh, it's a good roll of. <laughs> Right, okay, hold on a minute, just everyone calm down. What's your damage? <laughs> What's your damage? It's damage three. So one, one will go through on your turn, mate, and it's three damage. Um, so, so then two wounds, two wounds would go on to the captain at the end of the sequence. Uh, the mortal wounds. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, well, it'll be three mortal wounds and one. Yes, but, oh, that's at the end of. Yes. Oh, yeah, three so, mortal so wounds dead. at the end. He's taken three wounds and then it's three mortal wounds. So he, he's, he's dead. Yes. The assault can terminate And dead. then it's three more. Right, so if I make this CP, if I make this save. You do have the option to do a CP on the armor saving I'm throw. I'm alive on three wounds. The Crux Terminatus saving throw. The Emperor protects. <laughs> Six. Oh no! He's dead! <laughs> I'm so stressed. Oh. That was a very stressful turn. Very stressful turn. Yeah. The, ter the Terminators and Tenth are very good, aren't they? Yeah, they're good. They're yeah. very expensive, but they are very good. Very good. Okay, right. So in terms of my secondaries, I've got assassinate yeah. uh, because of my um, uh, suicide yeah. or the <laughs> champion captain. over there. Yeah, or the captain. Or over yeah. there. Um, and I did get five points of no prisoners because I have killed enough units to get the maximum of five. Defense strongholds ongoing. I should be able to get that as well. Um, because I don't think you can get anything into onto this objective by the end of your next turn, unless you have some kind of crazy teleport stuff. But that's that. That's okay. my turn three in the bag. Okay, it was a very good turn. Oh, it was a good one. Uh, I'm only going to pick up ten for the primary. Yep. Um, okay, let's see what happens. Battle round three, beard for me. What? What? Okay, right. Gilliman is going to go uh, declare the assault doctrine now. Legend. He's an advance and charge, which is very spicy indeed. Yeah. Hopefully, get me into a nice position. Uh, I did pass my battle shock, shock tech check just off camera here for um, the lone gladesman. Yes. Um, so that's that there. Don't really need any other battle shock. Uh, in terms of oath of moment, I'm going to select oath of moment uh, as the primary unit, being this one. Because yeah. I need to storm hostile objective and kill them. Yes. Uh, Gilliman will use his author of the codex to do a free stratagem. Oh. I think is what we're going to do. No, actually, you know what? I will do Oath of Moment again. Okay. And for better or worse, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it on the Hellbrute. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, this is it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Um, it's now time to do, oh, some cards. You'd want to see that. I've got Assassinate. Nice. So again, because you've got a character in there, yep. it's worth a lot of points to me. Yep. Storm Hostile Objective and Engage in All Fronts, which I can technically kind of get quite It easily. looks like it, yeah. Okay, let's see what happens. Gilliman, yes. He did the runs, rolled a three, which means he can stomp around here. But it's just Dreadnought, comes around here with his eight inch move, so you can see over the top of this sealed building to try and get that Hellbrute. Well, I did roll a six for this unit for the advance, which is very handy, but I do take a mortal wound. However, with a 12 inch move now, and they can charge afterwards, that all but secures me that objective. Okay, this blade guard, he's uh, advanced. He's gonna just run behind here to get me that engage on all fronts. Intercessors now. Move up to the wall here. Hello. Okay, this is it. Got to bring this unit down. Rapid fire. Oh, well, oh, they're two shots. 
uh, into this unit. Uh, they've got, so I've got two shots each. I'm going to do a crack uh, grenade from the launcher as well. Okay. In a moment. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so both of moment. I'm re-rolling. Okay, that's that's made a difference. Okay. We're now wounding you on fours. And with oath of moment. <laughs> the oath of moment. We're re-rolling. Not that it actually helped that much. Okay. That's four wounds. Oh, I've spent a CP on Storm of Fire, so I've only got one CP left to ignore your cover here with this unit. Oh my cover! So four saves of four up, sir. Two go through. Damage one? It's just damage one. Okay. Spot right. So you've killed one of my legionnaires. So I killed one. One wasn't stabbed, was he? Uh, he's already dead. He's already dead. Okay, so one legionnaire. So how many have you got left now? Two left Two. now. Two. Okay, well now we've got the crack. Okay. Poop. Can re-roll at the moment. Does hit. Poop. Does Poop. wound. Poop. 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 Saves. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on to this unit, also targeting you now. More death. You will get cover saves though this time. Yeah. Um. Oh no! I'll just re-roll all of those with the moment, shall I? Goodness me. Okay, and then to wound you. And Oath of Moment. Okay, that is five wounds. They are at minus one. Five wounds. But you've got cover, so threes. Takes another wound. Okay, one more wound. Crack. Yep. Boom. Oh, see ya. Boom. Oh! Well, that'll kill one because one was on yeah, one blow wound. Up. So there's just one marine left in there, is there? Ooh. Okay. Uh, they're not storm bolts, they're Deathwind missile launchers. Oh! They don't cost me any extra points. Uh, so, right, Deathwind missile launcher into here. Okay. They look cool as well. Imagine <laughs> a drop pod with a Deathwind missile. Uh, right, roll into here. Uh, all here. Oh, dang. Uh, the only difference is storm bolts has got more reliable amount of shots, actually. But anyway, uh, it's strength five, so three's to wound. Uh, that's four wounds. There's no AP. So you will get, oh, you can't get two up cover saves. <gasps> You're dead. Killed okay. another one. Okay, that is very interesting. Interesting. Now I'm going to tell you why. Go on then. Let me tell you why. Please tell me. Well, he now counts as a separate unit. It is. At the end of that sequence. It is. Which means that the oath of moment is. has been fulfilled. It is. I don't get reroll hits and wounds against him. Oh. But it does now activate on that hell brute. Oh. And I've got my ballista dreadnought here. No! Okay, before we get to the Ballista Dreadnought, I'm going to do the Drop Pod uh, Deathwind Missile Launcher. I actually get plus three shots of the blast here into those cultists. There's 15 of them. <laughs> uh, well, that's a really good, that's a really good rate of it fire. Is. That's a really good rate of fire. And they well, do I'm, hit on threes, I've checked. What a mindless Death, Death, Death Pod. Oh, Death Pod. Death Pod. Uh, toughness three, I assume. Toughness is three. I only wound you three times. Oh, that's sad. Uh, I have a five up invulnerable save from okay. uh, my faithful flock ability. Okay. How faithful? They are quite faithful. One dies. Okay, well, that's Ooh. that one. Here we go. <laughs> okay, this is it. Ballista Dreadnought, Twin Laz Cannon, and the Crack Missile into your Hell Brutes. The Storm Bolter will fire at uh, the, the uh, Master, Master of possession. possession. Two shots first with the Storm Bolter. That is one hit. I do not get the reroll. That is one wound. He's fine. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> right, we, <know> <laughs> we got the Twin Laz Cannon into your Hell Brute now. Okay. <laughs> Two hits. Uh -huh. Two wounds. Yay! Laser cannon. Uh, minus what? One million. <laughs> it's three. Minus three. Fives. One uh, million. Yeah. Minus one million. No. Okay, it's 2d6 plus two in this instance. <laughs> I only roll double six. It equals six. It does. Plus two is eight. He's got one wound left. One wound left? No, hang on a minute. Hang on, wait. Don't they have eight wounds? Wait. I have eight wounds. Oh, I killed him. Deadly demise. Deadly demise. Deadly demise. Yeah. Deadly demise. Deadly de no. A baron snuffs him out with a talent of horrors. Poomp. <laughs> it's like whack a mole. Yeah. <laughs> it's the charge phase, Mr. Beard. Okay. Marines into your master of possession. <laughs> he must die. <laughs> oh, yes, we make it. <laughs> then we're going to do these marines into your rhino. They make Ooh. it too. Hello. All right, this is it. <laughs> I'm going to use Honor the Chapter for one CP, my last CP here, to give them the lance ability so I get plus one to wound now. Oh, charge. All right, that's how it's going down. Stand. Right, I've got a power fist on the sergeant. Okay. So that's just what you do in 10th. Uh, well, that's what I'm doing anyway. Uh, and I've got four Marines uh, just with regular close combat weapons. Very good. Uh, right, first of all, we'll do the sergeant first, okay? okay. For what it's worth. We've got three attacks. We're not getting re-rolls here because you're not an Oath of Moment unit anymore. No. 
No, I'm not. He hits you three times. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what is your toughness? Four anyway? Oh! So I think I'd be wounding you on twos anyway, to be honest. Right, it's only two wounds, so do drop one. Do I have an invulnerable save? Five up, invulnerable save. Minus what? Minus two. It's minus two anyway. Damn it, save! Anyway. No, I one goes through, you've got two wounds. So I have a five up, feel no pain in my intoxicating elixir. No, uh, it's intoxicating, but it doesn't help me. Okay, one. I've got two, two wounds left. <laughs> Three. Very stressful. There's a bit. Four. Cheers, rather. <laughs> right. It's a nice roll. It's one of the cool things about the game being less killy now. It, it just sort of it, it, it extends the anticipation of one's demise. Okay. Okay. That is three, four, five, six wounds. Six. That's six wounds. That's what it is. Yeah. Taking two wounds. Okay. So he's how many wounds? Oh no, he only got four wounds. Master of possession. Like two wounds left. Lieutenant Carrington. Intoxicating elixir. No, you will die. You will die. You will die. Oh Ooh. no! I hate <laughs> that guy. He's singing like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Right, we've just done this camera off, uh, this um, combat off camera. I uh, did do three wounds on your right though. It did. Despite the odds. But you've done three wounds back now with your Master of Possession on Doom. my Marines. I saved two, one goes through. Okay, so it's D3 damage. It's minus one AP. It's just, just the, the one. one. Okay. But you do need to do a battle shock test. Gosh. On them. Oh, gosh. Oh, uh, we pass, we pass, they're whatever fine. I roll, we pass. They're fine. Because they're, I know they're AC6. So. They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my turn. It is. I failed to get assassinate. Sure. Uh, but I did get engaged for three victory points because I'm playing tactical. Yep. Um, I did get um, Storm Hostile Objective for the full five because whilst your Master Possession's alive, I am a much better OC than you. You are indeed. Um, so I am holding that objective. Yes. Uh, so that's seven points I just picked up there. I believe I'm behind you now by like two, three points. Yeah, because I did get um, uh, the Defense Stronghold. You did. did. You did. But Ended. weirdly now, in your turn four, you'll only get the one primary. That is true. You'll only get that one primary. I'm holding the one. You'll only get the one. Just the one. Right, that's around four. Oh, it's a snail bite. I'm ahead by one point. One point, because I only got really three yeah. to defend um, that's right. Stronghold. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got Cleanse, Secure Hostile Objective, and Secure No Man's Land. Yep. Sorry, Storm Hostile Objective. I'm probably not going to worry about Cleanse, but these yeah. two, Storm and Secure, should get both of those. be doable. Yeah, you should um, get both of those. Oh my goodness. Abaddon is going to put Paragon of Hatred uh, as his aura for reroll hits. Okay. Let me do a very quick movement phase. Right, quick summary here. Summary down. Um, so Abaddon with the Talon of Horus did all of his shots into the incest over there and thanks to the cover, they're yep. still they're alive quite right another day. Yep. Um, we have also done a psychic blast from the Mind Witch into the drop pods. Um, has lost a couple of wounds. Yes, from the that psychic did go abilities. through, yep. Um, and aside from that, the Master of Possession tried to pistol, psychic pistol one with his brain. He succeeded. And he did. He killed one. Which is yeah. nice. Yeah. He, he's a monster. Now it's the charge phase. Okay. Charge from the Dark Commune into the drop pot. Yeah. Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. Lovely stuff. Do it. Take that objective then, back. Abaddon. Yes, he it's makes it. Okay. Eight. Oh, that's big. Fight phase. Yeah. So, nothing's really happened over there. Um, no. The uh, drop pod and the dark comedy. Wasn't expected to do much, I just wanted the objective. That's fine. Over here, we have the main event, Abaddon. Now, I didn't mention, forgive me, in the command phase, I spent one of the, my command points on skin shift again, put him up to eight wounds. <laughs> Frustrating. All so the marks like... work really well, the suggestions for him. Yep. It does sort of make sense. Um, I've done my dark pact off camera. I just need to roll to see if my dark destiny goes off for an extra command point on a two plus. It does, which is very nice indeed. So I'm back up to two. Right. Now time to strike with Drak the end. All right. I have sustained hits here. Again on Slanesh, so fives and sixes are sustained. Sustained. Uh, that's four additional. Ouch. Nice that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's minus four, isn't it? It's minus four. They're just twos and they're dead. Yeah. Yeah, yep, they're dead. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're dead. That's it, turn done. <laughs> I've got these two, I've secured. Ten and points, Fiend. I have stormed. Puts you um, back in the lead. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to get rid of cleanse. I don't have enough units to reliably do it. So I'm okay. just going to hope for a better draw in the next turn. Okay. But that's it. We'll let the fates decide. I guess we will. Talk about a nail biter, Mr. Beard. I've wet my <laughs> pants. <laughs> right. I'm going to use uh, my author of the codex to do the oath of moment twice again. The primary target is that master of possession. <sighs> he must die. If he dies, it will be Abaddon himself. I've been looking forward I'm to going this. to use adaptive strategy for one CP. Okay. And put it on Gilliman so okay. that he's now in the assault doctrine. Okay. Okay. I am then yes. going to show you my cards. I've got assassination. Yep. I got overwhelming force. Yep. And I got behind enemy lines. I do need to take a battle shock test. For that blade, single lone blade guard. Yes. <gasps> he fails. Shooketh. That's a big problem because it means I don't, I can't get behind enemy lines. I think you can. Okay, the movement phase is done. Actually, he does count for behind enemy lines because whilst he's OC zero, he's still, it's uh, he secondary still exists. Yeah, he still exists. Yep. He does count. I'll only get the three points, but it's better than none. Uh, I have shifted my unit over here so they can all get into rapid fire range of the Master of Possession. I did advance with Gilliman. Uh, puts him just up to the wall here. Um, and I've moved the Ballista's Dreadnought around so he's got line of sight on both the characters. Nice. Right, first things first, we're going to open up with a Deathwind missile launcher. Okay. Into the Master of Possession. Okay. I don't like him. 32 shots. Okay. 32, oh, is it plus one? Is it plus one? It is plus one. Very nice. He hits you once. Right. He wounds you once. <gasps> oh, hello. Oh. You failed the save. One you got left. one wound left. Oh. oh. Intoxicating elixir. Oh, he's, oh, he's got one. one. He's got one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm now going to fire my entire squad at him. Okay. One. Sure Gilliman can't fire because he advanced. Two. Three. Four. Bolted. With Oath of Moment. Oh, I get, had re-rolls there, but doesn't matter. I'll do it. Okay. Misses anyway. Very nerve-wracking, isn't it? <laughs> Force the wound. Re-rolling. 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 Oath of Moment. Oath of Moment. Mr. Beard. In the house, you got five saves of five, of, of three up. Five saves of three up. Ah! Uh, you need to roll one more dice. Oh, it's five. Okay. Feel no pain. Hang on. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Stating, look, sir. Huh? No! Now he's dead. No! Oath of moment shifts. Uh. Onto a bad end. No! Hello, Ballistas. <laughs> Covering fire of the Ballistas Dreadnought as Gilliman looms into view. <laughs> He looms with uh, a, 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 a cloud of flies. I'm going to use Dark Obscuration for one CP, so he's minus one to hit. Oh, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> the laser cannons. <laughs> I hit you once. Oh, it didn't make any difference. At the moment. It did yeah. make some difference. My stinky wound you? cloud. To wound you. Marked for death. Ominous. Marked for death. Oh, master. Marked for death. Okay, this won't, this can't physically kill him. This can't physically kill him. Do you wish to use a CP before I do my crack? Yes. <gasps> I do. CP reroll. Old one. Okay. Okay. Six for a six. So you've one used CP your CP reroll. Yep. Done it. Two crack missiles. Oath of moment. Both hit. <laughs> Both <win. laughs> You've used your CP reroll, Mr. Oh. Beer. Okay, one goes through. Six. Okay. That's six damage. Okay, six damage. What's Stop. your base save? Two plus? Two plus. Well, you're in cover. Well, you're out of three, you're fine. Oh! Yeah. Oh! You're fine. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> Brother! Kill him with a Magis from around the corner! This is the way it should be. I couldn't wound you with the ballistas. But the ballistas? fired it. What? It, it missed, it missed. I couldn't do wounds on you. Oh, that. no. No. Gilliman charges. Appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you place uh, Into the there Crucible? There we go, yes! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes! Okay. I've charged with the intercessor into the rhino, but that's not what it matters. 
Gilliman steps forward. <laughs> the Rain Emperor's flash. sword comes out. <laughs> Starts uh. raining. This is the blade that killed your father. Appropriate now that I send you to meet him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I will use the Emperor's sword. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just powering up. Six, Six seven, eight. <laughs> so stressed. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen attacks. Fourteen. Honor the chapter. What does that oh. do again? That gives me plus one to wound, which oh, is relevant marvelous. here because the Emperor's sword is only strength eight, so I will now wound you on two. Splendid. I do also have devastating wounds, yes. and of course the Oath of Moment is yes. active. You've got it all in your arsenal. Die, scum. Okay. No, we can't argue with that, Steve. The hits. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Now, any six I roll will be two mortal wounds. Yes. Suffer not the heretic to live. <gasps> I roll five sixes. <laughs> I bad man's head <laughs> is mine. <laughs> I've got one command point left. <laughs> you do, yeah. Although I'm pretty sure I do. It's been, it's been a pretty intense game. I think you do. I don't... He, he gained a command point. So I think you started this, this turn on Listen, three. I have to do it. I'm going to spend a command point on Eternal Hate, because I mark a corn on a three plus, I can get up and fight on death. Oh my God. Six, it was bad. <laughs> no. Unfortunately no. for Bobby G, no! the Emperor's sword impales Abaddon before he realizes Drachnians impaled him as Please, well. Uh, him no! <laughs> no! Oh! For good luck! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. Alright, I've, I've failed to hit you once. Do you get I, get, I get no extra no, rules no, here because... I know, this is out of sequence, yeah, anyway. Sequence. I'll be wounding you... What's his toughness? Gilliman's toughness is nine. Nine, so it'll be threes to wound. Even though it's strength 14, it's threes to wound. Not bad, though. Oh Not bad. Was that uh, five wounds? And they're devastating wounds. Well, I don't think you get any abilities because it's out of sequence. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you don't, even your weapon doesn't get any okay. abilities. Right. Oh, don't get me wrong, I'd love you to do it, it's but five, it's as five, per the rules, that's kind of how it works out. Five wounds at minus four. I'm presuming you have a... I have an invulnerable save. <laughs> four plus. <laughs> two, two go through, damage? Three. Not four? No. I'd still be alive anyway. He's no. alive? Oh yeah, no, I'm alive. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I okay, lost six wounds. Okay, he's bleeding. Yeah, he's, dead. he's not dead. And then, once again, <laughs> oh. he So now I've just got into the lead. Yeah. I think it's going to come down to what secondaries you get. <sighs> My turn five. Yeah. So you, you score the last of the primary you can get. I, I do get, I do get Which ten. Which you do get ten. Because the, the cultists have kept me on this objective the whole game. Do like a cultist unit. Yep. But I need, a, I need a good draw. Yeah. I'm hoping I'm going to get destroy drop pod. Uh, Abaddon's dead, <laughs> and the Rhino is locked in combat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, lucky draw! I don't get that so far. I got deploy teleport Homer. Not a good start. Uh, overwhelming force. An attempting target. Where's attempting target? There. I think, appropriately, on that. Um, full yeah, yeah. of a warlord. Because I get 15 points and there's not, for my primary, in my next turn, there's nothing you can do about it. We just worked out uh, where the primary points are going to go in turn five, yeah. in your turn five, because yeah. you'll get all 15. Yeah. I, re I, I sort of needed to be able to get all of those secondaries to be in with a chance. Yeah. But on this day, it's Ultramarine's victory. What an amazing game. What a pleasure. What a great game. What an amazing Hang on. game. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Wow. Well, what did you guys think? I thought it was an amazing game. Very Absolutely cool. down to the wire. Very cool to see Gilliman as potent as he should be. Yeah, he can fight. Yeah. He can fight. Yeah. So yeah. can Abaddon, though. We saw he wiped out all of the Terminators and the Captain single-handedly. He's very different much. in 10th, but because you've probably always taken with the Terminator squad, yeah. he's very hard to get to. He and is. he's doing a lot of damage as he goes. Um, I really enjoy using Chaos in 10th. Yeah. They're good fun. Yeah. They're good fun. Um, I love the Ultramarines yeah. uh, too. I've always got, the Ultramarines have a, 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 you know, a place in my heart always because of Captain Artemis. <laughs> but um, look, they did the business. Oath of Moments obviously very strong. I wouldn't be surprised if that got changed in a future codex, to be honest, but we'll see what happens. It's very powerful. Just because your whole army can reroll hits and wounds and then Gilliman can technically 
if you pick your targets right, you can basically make you do it on two units, yeah, the, so, which makes him really good as well. There's a few utility. of there's a few ways you can get it twice, like Death Watch, for instance. Yeah. With the right um, enhancement, you can do it twice every yeah. turn. Yeah. Yeah. Brutal. But you know, my army was relatively small because it is quite elite. Yep. Um, obviously, it wasn't the belt was supposed to be like really competitive, but it did the business. And it was a really close game. It so really despite the yeah. moment being that good, you know, you nearly won the game. You were in the lead, in fact, yeah. for like three turns in a row. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. What a great well, game. Amazing game. Look, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in and watching. We hope you've enjoyed this 10th edition game. What a rule set. What an amazing index so far. It's produces games like this. We know it's a good thing. And if you want more 10th edition games, head over to On Demand. We've got more. And there's way more to come as well. And all the faction focuses. <sighs> right, including a battle report, which has been released at the same time as this right now to watch. Right now. Demand. What a time to so, be in the hobby. For now, you've been a legend, Mr. Beards. I've been the evil spider, Mr. Lawrence. And our loyal servo skull has been Mr. Bard. Boop, boop. We'll see you in another battle report very soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye!